Greetings, Martin Roberts here. What I thought would be quite useful is to actually involve you in a project of mine that I've just taken on and take you through my thought processes when I'm thinking about a renovation project. And this is an absolute classic, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, this is a three bed end terrace, uh, which I've just bought uh, with a view to doing up and renting now. And uh, it has been lived in by the same person for many years. And you'll see uh, the kind of effects of that. So my thought process on, in terms of bringing it you know, up to standard uh, from a safety point of view, from a usability point of view, and also from adding value point of view, and making it a nice place to live for the tenant. So if we walk around the house, and I'll just give you my, if my, like a stream of consciousness in terms of what I would do, or what I am going to do to sort this place out. And then what we'll do is we'll come back here in a few weeks time, maybe a month or so to see how the work's progressing. And then we'll end up, I'll show you around uh, when it's finally been done. So um, I'm going to swap the camera around and then you can sort of see my point of view uh, in terms of, um, oh, I can't do that, can I? Hmm. Uh, well, anyway, I'll figure out the technology of that in a minute. Maybe an edit's required. Um, swap it around so that then you're going to see what I'm seeing. And I'm just going to talk you through what I am looking at and what I'm going to do here. So let's give that a go. So here you go. This is where I was standing. Just there. Nice little house. Let's go through the back. Now, the first thing is that there is this lean to uh, kind of shed thing uh, which leads to go in. I'm going to think about whether or not I'm going to replace that. I don't know. I certainly might sort out the roof because it's a bit of a mess. But in through the back door, because uh, I've actually got front door keys. Now, as with many properties in this area, the toilet is downstairs. You've got this little bathroom. So the bath, uh, to give you an idea, is really quite small. Uh, and there's the loo just there. Um, so I think a refurbishment in here, probably down lighters uh, in the ceiling. That would make it really quite present. One thing I, well, I have noticed, which is a real worry, uh, which is here, which is this is the fuse board. And look at those. Uh oh. Now, I've made some inquiries and uh, it was all done in 1975. So we're 45 years on. And I'm going to rent this place out. I want to make sure it's absolutely safe. So one of the things I need to factor in is a rewire, without doubt. Anyway, uh, so here's the kitchen. Again, very dated. Apparently, the previous owner uh, built these cupboards, um, built these cupboards 43 years ago, uh, or 40 odd years ago, and uh, they've stood the test of time. But they need replacing, as does that. So one thing about in here is uh, probably. Uh, down lighters in the ceiling, uh, you know, that makes things look uh, really, really modern. Quite nice, you've got this area here, which is a little uh, storage area. Now, I'm thinking about relocating the boiler, and I'll come on to that in a minute, there. Um, so, kitchen, kitchens and bathrooms, I mean, yeah, I do say it uh, all the time, but kitchens and bathrooms, you're always going to get your money back, so I'm definitely going to spend some time in here. So I'm thinking about perhaps... Um, Units along there, units down here, maybe a breakfast bar going across here. And the flooring at the moment is this, this vinyl stuff. Uh, replace that probably with bamboo. Now, I'd like it to run into the bathroom area here. And bamboo is really good uh, as a flooring when there's any possibility of damp. And one of the things I've noticed is this floor is solid, solid concrete. So I am going to be aware of damp. Um, so you want to put a flooring on there that A, has room to move, so you always allow a little bit of a gap um, in terms of uh, when you lay it down. Uh, but also I'm looking at the kind of flooring that will, uh, will, will take that kind of wear and tear. Now there are some great vinyl stuff. I uh, can't even do a, a great flooring project. It's expensive, but it's, it's good in terms of value for money. It might cost a lot, but it's definitely a good kit. Or uh, look at, uh, at, uh, at solid wooden flooring, which is something definitely worth considering. So I'm going to consider both those options. But then through here, this is the front lounge, you know, and it's just so classically um, sort of 19... 70s, 80s kind of stuff, isn't it? This here uh, is actually a back boiler. That's given away by these pipes, which are running through here, and this little controller. Uh, it, it's worked perfectly well. Uh, but the decision you've got to make if you're going to be doing something like this is, how much do you want to do to bring this up to standard? So I'm looking at redoing the electrics. That's going to create a lot of mess. 
while I'm doing it. You know, the radiators, for instance, look at those. They're all very, very dated. And they've got this surface mounted micro bore, uh, which, you know, was very trendy uh, in its day. Uh, but um, really, and nowadays, I think we want to bring it all up to spec. So you're just going to bite the bullet. It's going to cost me, I don't know, what, three, four thousand pounds to put a central heating in here. But then I know it's right. Likewise, with electrics, maybe another three to four grand. But I know it's all sorted. And those kind of things are messy, requ require chasing of the walls and all that kind of stuff. So it's, the time to do it is when you're going to be redecorating the place. Redecorating the place anyway. Little understairs cupboard, uh, which is quite sweet. But as you can see down here, a few issues with damp. Uh, and in fact, similarly uh, on these uh, skirting boards. So I want to know what's causing that. Um, and hopefully it's nothing too, uh, too terrible. I'm going to pull that off actually and just have a look see what we've got. Have we got any signs of dry rot? Um, not particularly, but I'm really interested to know why that's done that. Uh, bit strange, bit more investigation required on that one. Let's take you upstairs. Uh, front door, uh, first impressions, you know, this is a metal door, it's fairly old. Uh, I might think about uh, replacing that. Up the stairs, um, again, dated wallpaper. So I think my decision will be take off all the wallpaper and, uh, and have that skimmed uh, by a good plasterer. But um, three reasonable sized bedrooms. This is the master. Nice views out um, to the fields there. Again, very dated, but um, but nice. And one nice little additional bonus. At some point, somebody's actually put in uh, a, an upstairs toilet, which is good. So not very well designed um probably think about redoing that um then through to uh, the bedroom sort of box bedroom old radiators again uh nice views out, the, out of there but nice high ceilings uh, which is good news um so nothing particularly massive required in there and then through here to uh the second big bedroom and all these storage cupboards, which were great in their day. Um, and here, uh, the central heating unit or the uh, immersion heater. So replace that, put in a combination boiler downstairs and get rid of all that kind of mess uh, and create a bit more space. Um, that's the house. Uh, it's a good, solid little property. Needs a bit of tender loving care, needs bringing it up to date, but nothing that scares me. Now, I'm making a decision here, I'm not going to do any major structural works, okay? Because I think it's pretty okay as it is. You know me, I'm always knocking down walls and things to open things up. But I think this house, it's fine as it is. You could do an extension on the back, but how much money is it going to cost and how long is it going to take me if I'm renting this out to get that money back? I think a really nice refurbishment here new electrics, new boiler, new central heating. Um, new kitchen, new bathroom, then I think this will make it a very uh, easy maintenance property and a place that somebody would like to live in. So I'm creating a nice space for someone to live in. And I know I've got a house that, uh, uh, you know, is sorted and should be fine for a while to come. So that's what it's like now. And uh, let's see what it's like in a few months time.